Hey everyone, welcome back. And we got a little crypto grow tent mod update. Well, not really the crypto tent per se, but to the room I have my grow tent in. And uh, let's see where we're at right now. I am, oh my God. I got a little thermometer back there. I used to be 102, but I'm burning about 98.8 right now inside the grow tent. And let's zoom on back. All right, let's go over here for a sec. This is my big rig, my 63080 Ti's. Baby, I'm now getting 30, 30, no, 93.4, sometimes 94. I even saw a 95 mega hasher on the uh, rig with the new T-Rex. Dun, 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 0.25.12 on ETH hash. And uh, with the grow tent mod I'm about to show you, I'm actually getting better temperatures on the outside and on the memories. Again, ambient temperature really affects these cards. Ambient temperature is key. The temperature around you in the room, it's like metachlorines. It's, it's, it's the force. It, it's in you, combines you, all that crap. Anyway, that's affects, that really does affect the GPUs. And uh, in my room here, I've got my grow tent with my uh, CPUs. There's the Vivo Sun. Let's see if I can get a light on here. There is the old Vivo Sun, baby. So I got the Vivo Sun there, and I got the 8-inch fan, inline fan going out the top of the window. And I got the CPU rigs with a GPU. That's my 3070 Ti. That puppy burns super hot right now. I'm waiting for some copper plates to come because I replaced the pads. I replaced the paste. This puppy still burns over 104. I mean... It, it's not as hot as it used to be after replacing the pads, but it's still, maybe the sensors are bad on these damn cards. I don't know. It does not feel that hot, actually. It really doesn't. I'm saying it doesn't feel like it's like the temperature showing on T-Rex. This used to have a back plate. I just took it off because there were pads right here and they were just sucked. I said, why do I have this stupid back plate on here other than it protected, obviously, but it wasn't really acting as a heat sink. I took it off and it actually maybe helped a little bit. I just got to be careful not to damage this card, but who cares? This is making me money now. I'm getting 63 mega hash on a 3070 Asus, uh, 3070 Ti Asus brand. Uh, yep, there you go. So these are my CPU rigs and now this puppy blows out heat. This is a uh, 3950 Ryzen 9 and there's the in, there's the push, there's the pull or the pull push, got it backwards. And the heat's coming out the back towards the window. <clears throat> yeah. So what I have, I got that. So that's all outside. These CPU rigs do not make a lot of heat, but it accumulates over time. Like a little snowball going downhill. And the heat would rise above my ceiling fan. And uh, it's just like a layer of heat at the top. It's like different weather layers. And my room was always hot. The grow tent would do its best to keep the heat out. But this, this thing becomes like a little wood stove. You get radiant heat, and it would just emit heat. And again, the rigs and my one test rig here, the GPU running, would emit heat. <clears throat> and I'm thinking, what can I do to get heat out of this room? This is a, you know, it's inside a house. It's not a basement. I don't have basement windows. So I said, well, let me just crack open a window. Here I got the exhaust fan coming out. This thing is working really good. I cleaned it out. It wasn't that dirty. I popped off the tubes and it was, wasn't much dust at all, which amazed me. I thought it'd be full of dust bunnies and everything. But I noticed above, right where above the thing, I noticed the heat layer. Because you get up there and work on things and stuff. Like, it's just like a layer of hot. And I said, I got to exfil this air. I got to exhaust it. <clears throat> and I looked all over. And I found on uh, Amazon, they had this fan. It goes two ways. And there's a little fan... Uh, blades on the back so when it's off it keeps the bugs and raining crap out but it's like for smoking rooms kitchens bathrooms wall mounts i just stuck it as an insert into the window and i got that window locked to secure that in place i got my exhaust eight inch tubing from the grow tent and this thing is working like a charm it's 300 um what is that not rpms the cfm or i can't remember the i'm sorry it's, it's just a, it's a, not a super high noisy fan, but it's, it's pretty quiet. It's a lot quieter than this puppy. And it is actually moving the air out of here. And I don't need the, uh, 
I don't need the ceiling fan on because I want to keep the air up high, but I'm just trying to keep the light on right now. So this little thing was 40 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description below. And it just, you can, you can put a hole in the wall and mount it, but I, it's just mounting right on the um, windowsill. And I have it locked, like I said, locked in place. And it just plugs in too. You don't have to hardwire it. And there's a little string you pull down for exhaust. And you pull it again, and the air will actually blow in and keep the uh, ducts, the fan blades, uh, the uh, louvers open. So if it's cold outside, you can actually blow in some cold air. So it works both ways. Right now, I am exhausting the heat out, and uh, I've been running for a few hours, and it has made a huge difference. The grow tent has dropped. I'm going to say two whole degrees, and the GPUs are reflecting that as well. Uh, so there you go. Quick little tip. Awesome little thing, 40 bucks Amazon. I'm not a big Amazon proponent, but again, sometimes that's the only place to get crap. And you go to Home Depot and that, they, they want 60 bucks and sometimes it's not in stock. And the thing about Amazon, I do like you can return anything anytime uh, within reason, right? And uh, that's one good thing to go, but everything's working. There you go, a little pro tip, six minutes in, things are looking good. And I'm actually sitting here now and work without sweating in a sauna box. Cause this thing, this grow tent works as best as it can, but if you got hot air in the room, if you're sitting in a sauna itself, it's going to be, it's just going to be ingesting that hot air and not really do its best to uh, keep things not cool, but it's just going to keep temps higher. So, and the other good thing is my hot, my house AC will not be working as much and it won't have that heat layer that these things radiate. Even this tubing is not insulated. Uh, you can feel it. You can feel warmth. Uh, you could probably wrap this, but eh, it's not that bad with that fan there now. With this heat coming off, and that'll just blow it right out. And that too, and I got all this heat coming off. It's just going to push it right out. Again, I do not run the ceiling fan with it on because I want the heat to stay up. So this little puppy right here can just get it out. Anyway, anyway there's a quick little tip. The simplest things, the simplest things are sometimes the best. Yeah. 40 bucks, 40 bucks and 40 bucks. All right. That's all I got, guys. Go forward through great things. Uh, I'm not buying any GPUs right now. I am just trying to be more efficient. And I got the T-Rex miner running like you saw. Give me some awesome, give me a, give me almost like, man, I think I figured out 60 more mega hash total, which is almost two cards, two uh, uh, 1660 supers or two uh, 6600 XT cards. So yeah, there you go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any more tips or have any tips on your grow tent, uh, post them below. <clears throat> that exhaust fan is awesome. And if you are contemplating using a grow tent like this in your house or basement, do it. It works. You just got to be mindful of the ambient temperature around you. Even if you're in a tropical environment, you can make this work and you won't be sucking all the AC out of your house. You just got to be smart about it. I have just the open, these things open at the bottom. You can't really see. Hold on. Let me get a light. <clears throat> you have these. Uh, I just have that one open and that one open to uh, ingest the air. And it flows from left to right and up out the exhaust. And it just seems to keep the majority of the cards pretty decent temperatures. So there you go. That is all. Simple things work. Um, yeah. So if you're on the fence about getting one of these, this is worth it. The only bad thing about this thing is the damn zipper here. Like any zipper, sometimes it gets bound up with the inner cloth lining, and you just got to be careful when you open this puppy not to get it snagged. Otherwise, you'll be having a couple hours trying to unsnag it. Yeah, all right. That's all I got, guys. Go for two great things. Keep mining. Do your CPU mining, stack your coins, GPU mining until you can no longer GPU mine. I wouldn't be buying GPUs yet. It's middle of April. I'd wait a couple more weeks until prices come down further below MSRP. Do not waste your money. You're going to regret it. You're not going to ROI your cards. I don't know how you're going to ROI your cards. People are pushing A2000. You can't even get those for under like 650 or you're away from. I don't know. I'm just not getting anything right now. Maybe if I see a 1660 Super for under 300, I would consider it. But then you got to add in tax and shipping, especially on new egg. Uh, since they don't have anything like an Amazon Prime does. Uh, yeah, Amazon Prime prices are usually higher because uh, the resellers have to jack up the prices to cover 
the hefty Amazon fees. I don't know, just me babbing about the old GPUs. I'm liking CPU mining right now. Doing Ethereum, Zill. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's GPU. I'm doing um, Pulsar, Pulsar coin, Avion, Raptorium, trying to do as much as I can stacking and then staking those coins for passive income. Because once you get a nice little pot, you put those little puppies out there to stake and you're good to go. All right, enough about me. Go forth, do great things. Keep mining. Have fun, man. Enjoy. It's a good hobby and you can make a couple bucks. And I think if people are always complaining and they're saying, oh my God, it's not working out too well. That's when you keep mining. Just keep your head down. Keep mining. Keep doing what you're doing. And you may, it, it I mean, come on, it's got to pay off. It's got to pay off. You never know. Right? All right. All right, guys. I'm out. Take care. Blammo.